Hi there, welcome to Roll. Tristan's my name, and today I'm going to talk to you about the use of start stop timers in Roll and how you can use them to accurately track how much time you're spending on projects uh, in your business. So, what I've done is I've just logged into Roll and I'm currently on the, the work in progress area of Roll. And I've got this project up here that I want to start, which is a A4 flyer creation for a company called Freedom Footwear. And what I want to do is go up here to my little timer icon, click on that, and I want to hit the add new. And as soon as I hit the add new, it starts, it sets up and starts a new timer immediately and starts tracking time. So what uh, there's a little bit of setup uh, that we want to do, and we can do this now, we can do this later, but for the sake of this example, I'll do this now. Um, but uh, I want to assign it to uh, this project in question. So I'll just go down to uh, the project that we've got going. Here it is and uh, we'll just add a new note, so design, start. And then we can also tag it, so, and I'll talk in the next video that I do on, on timing and how you use it in projects uh, about uh, the use of tags, but, uh, and you'll see how they really come into play. Um, and that's all I need to do, I can just save that and uh, then click out of it and go and start, start my actual design work on that job. Now, um, straight away you can see if we have a look up here we've got it's telling us that we've got one timer going and we can pause it and we can start it again and uh, you know if we go away make a coffee and come back um, we can hit, hit um, play again now what's also really really good in roll is that you can actually have multiple timers going um, so we've got another job that's just come in it's an urgent change uh, to an existing project that we need to go and do so what we want to do is we actually want to put this job on hold uh, for freedom footwear and switch over to this new urgent urgent change so if I go up to my timers again what I want to do is click add new timer and I want to assign it to the project in question so in this case it might be uh, doing a quick concept uh, for some uh, market research project uh, so it might be a template development for that uh, that uh, project and um, basically uh, let's go template creation for research findings and we want again we want to tag it and this time it'll still be still be design work and we want to save that. So now we've got effectively got two timers going across uh, individual projects. And what we can do is we can actually flick between them. So uh, if we've we've um, finished doing the work that we want to do or the changes that we want to do on this this project, uh, we can uh, just effectively come through and just pause it, and uh, then we can um, come back onto this other job and start that timer going there and you can see that it's now uh, ticking over. So you can switch uh, between timers really, really easily. When you've finished uh, working on a job, uh, it's really simple. You can just come through and go, okay, we've completed that work, uh, let's, so let's pause it, and it's uh, all done, so we wanna finish that, and we'll complete it. And what that's done is it's uh, logged a time record against that project, and you can still see that you've got this other timer going up here, which you can now flick back to. So that's effectively uh, how start time, start stop timers work in a nutshell and roll. Uh, be sure to check out the other video that we've got um, about the use of um, the use of timers in projects, and uh, that'll give you more information around uh, how you can make that really, really, uh, or give you really good visibility on the amount of time that you're actually spending on on project work.